Hi, my name is Nicholas. I'm from Host Solutions. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to show you how to install a submersible pump on Boreline Flexi Riser. Um, here we are um, actually on site in northern Arizona. We're connecting a four inch bore line to a submersible pump and uh, we're going to show you how this is done. So here on the video we can see these guys are rolling up this length of bore line. It's a 580 foot length uh, that the pump is, is going to be hanging on. And what they're doing here is that they're just pulling the hose off the, the reel, the power cable as well. And then every, every six feet of a cable strap and they will use these straps to support the power cable along the length of this hose. Once that's been done, we drive to site, connect the pump and motor. This is a 75 horsepower, 300 gallon per, per minute pump. And they're going to just lift this up and lower it into the well with, their, with a crane. It's a pretty long pump, this here. Um, very aggressive water this town has and um, a lot of internal scaling. So this is one of the reasons they've gone with the bore line because you have no internal scaling, obviously no corrosion. We also have a centralizer kit that's we cut to suit and you know just before installing it into the well and this will keep the pump centered in the well. This is, uh, as I said, in northern Arizona, the beautiful state of uh, in a Grand Canyon state. Any of you who haven't visited recently, please come along. Come and explore, explore our natural beauty. Here we now are installing the pump, lowering it down into the well with our flexi riser pump puller. This is a hydraulic trailer mounted spool system. You can see a very small footprint around the well. Very easy to install. As mentioned, this is one continuous length, so this will just roll out and out and out. You can see everybody just hanging around, not doing much because you don't really need to do much. This is not in 20 foot sticks of steel pipe. So um, it's obviously very safe to install and retrieve, you know, this way and obviously very efficient. Here you can see he's coming towards the end now um, and uh, he's pretty much done. This, this installation took about 20 minutes to lower this into the well, this 580 feet. This is the last little bit that's coming and he's going to maneuver the fitting, the top fitting over that rolling wheel that is positioned above the well. And we're going to show you now how this is done. And we'll go, go as close as you can to, the, to that little rolling wheel and then we'll use the lifting clamp to hold everything and then we'll see, we'll lower this little wheel, this, this fitting over, the, over that, that wheel at the top yeah, there. Not down. And just lower this into the wall. Yeah, it, yes. Perfect. What? Okay. Down a bit. That's the lifting clamp that will now take up the weight of everything, the column below it. And here you can see just maneuvering this with the pump puller, just maneuvering it over the, the wheel so it's clear of that round wheel. And now you can just raise, telescopically raise this boom. Just lift and lower this entire thing yeah. into the wheel.
So there you have it. Um, thank you very much. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us or check us out online at boreline.com. Thank you very much.